Alright guys, so this is going to be part two of the big unboxing series. This is the second box from Jessica. Um, this is a pretty large box, so we'll get right into this and so that way you guys can see what I got. Alright guys, so this is a larger box. We are accompanied by Bella if you see her tail going. Um, so this is a larger box. Let's cut into this, see what we've got. And I might have to pull up my list for her as well. Oh, she actually pulled my list up for me. Um, so yes, let me get into this unboxing here. We don't need this paper. We've got so much paper. Let me, let me, give me a second. I'm going to put all this paper into this other box. So... I don't have to sweep the floor later. <laughs> well, either way, I'm going to have to sweep the floor later because I'm putting a bunch of dirt on the floor in a minute. But, yes, so much paper. Paper, 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 paper. I see things. I see things. Do you guys see things? Probably not. Okay, so this is one. This first thing I'm going to pull out is going to be different for you guys, but something I am super excited about. This here is a Scolopendra Dihani. This is a Vietnamese giant centipede. And this is just a juvenile. She is not full grown yet but it is my first centipede and she's already trying to bite through the plastic so that looks like that'll be fun um we'll go ahead and see what else is in here all right so let's see what else is in here Let's pull this tape off. You guys can't see what I'm doing. I'm actually going to, let's see. All right. So, this guy here is a Kilo Brockies Andersoni. This is an unsexed juvenile. Why is my camera not wanting to focus today? Come on. Come on. Kilobrachys andersoni, an unsexed juvenile. And this here, I don't know if you guys can see, is a scorpion. She included this one for free. This is the H. Hotentata baby, which is a species from Africa. Um, that's actually really cool. I wasn't expecting that one. Um, so that's really cool. I love scorpions. I just don't have that many of them. Let's see who else is in here. Alrighty. I'm sorry, little dude. This guy here is a male. He's not yet mature, but this is a male Aphonopelma simani. Because I do have two adult females. I am hoping to do my first couple breeding projects. This is one of my breeding projects. Um, and then I do also have plans of breeding Avicularia Avicularia because I did just have a male mature out. So this one here is going to be giving me some future babies. This here is 
and H Gigas, which if you're familiar with this one is the one that has the ability to, I guess, swim and catch fish, um, which I have seen videos on. I don't know if that's actually something that they do in the wild. I haven't really done um, too much digging into that just because a lot of times people just keep them on super moist substrate and they're fine. Um, but yeah, this is an H Gigas. Here is another guy. This is a male Aphonopelma calcodes. Um, I do have a female, so I'm hoping to be breeding this guy as well sometime in the future when he matures out. She did say that she believes this guy is going to mature out by his next molt, so fingers crossed we'll have some breeding project videos coming up and maybe some babies in the future. I need a better method for keeping this paper. Alright, and this is the last one from Jessica. This is a Kilo Brachys species, Cane Krakon, which I'm super pumped about. Um, so yeah, I am going to go find some housing for these guys and we will be back in a second here on YouTube land. A couple minutes for me and you guys can watch me rehouse them. I'll be back here in a second. Alright guys, so first up for the rehousing part of this video, we are going to be doing the male Aphonopelma simoni. I'm not sure if he's going to be angry or not. We'll see. Come on little dude. Look at this nice enclosure we've got for you. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Come on. Come on. Wow, look. So nice. Come on. Oh. Shooting the web. Come on. One little foot. One little foot. Ah, there we go. All right. So she, he is all housed up. Um, I did try something new with these enclosures. I'm trying to do more of a naturalistic finish. I don't know um, if you guys are going to like this. I really like it. I think it looks a lot more natural, like their natural habitat um, with the moss, the fake leaves. I'm going to try and redo all of my tarantulas like this, but in the meantime, let's move on to the next spider. All right, next up we're going to be doing the male Aphonopelma calcodes. Get this lid off. And pull out this towel. Wow, look at you. Hi, buddy. You're so small and cute. Do you want to come out on my hand? Oh, wow, you want to flick the hairs? Hmm? There is this guy here. This is the male Ophonopelma calcodes, which, like I said at the beginning of this video, while I was unhousing or unpacking them, um, I do have a female, so hopefully we'll get some babies. Come on, buddy. Come on. And there he goes in his new home, webbing up, sticking his butt right up in the air, thinking that that's going to scare me off. He's cute, and I know it's not going to. So, all right, that was the big ones. Let's move on to the babies. All 
All right, so next up we're gonna do the H. Hotentata, the scorpion, which as you can see is right there, so we'll see how that goes. Let's pop the lid off of here and try not to get stung. Alrighty. Let's see, come on little scorp scorp. My first ever baby scorpion, which you guys can see there, compared to like my thumb, is very, very, very small. Just a little baby. So cute. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Okay, we're gonna put the lid on you. It's okay. We'll feed you later. Don't get mad. All right, next spider. Alright, so next up is this Kilobrachys King Krakon, or King Krak Krachon, however you want to pronounce it, but as you can see, she is up there, and she did start webbing, and she was already speeding around, so, um, have my catch cup ready. Come on. Okay, I have a spider in my pocket now. <laughs> Come on. All right, so that went smoothly. <laughs> um, that is, I'm not going to open the lid because you guys saw how speedy she is, but that's her there. The Kilobrachys King Crochon. She's going to be super cool, super all black when she's all grown up. But right now she's a baby, so she's going to look very similar to all the other babies. Alright, next spider. Alright, so next up is the Kilobrachys Andersoni. Uh, as you can see, I got this little tub after last one. And we'll see because... I can't see this one. Okay. You guys probably can't see her, but I can. She's got it all webbed up in there. Okay, please don't. All right, that is the Kilobrachys Andersoni. There, looks very similar to the last one just because they're Kilobrachy species and they're all babies. Um, so yeah, let's move on to the H. Gigas. All right, so next up is the H. Gigas. You guys can't see her, but I can kind of get a glimpse of where she is. She is actually a lot bigger than I thought. She's giving a threat posture. Okay. Hello. Yes. Hi. Why are you so angry? I'm just trying to give you a place to live. Can I put you in here for a second? Thank you. I'm gonna go get you a bigger home. You can pause the video. Jesus, I can do some. All right, guys, so I'm trying this nice technique here where I uh, just throw her in. And that worked. All right, um, so closing that up, this is the H Gigas. I don't know if you guys can see because I sprayed down the enclosure. She's there. Um, yes, that's a large water dish for this size tarantula. However, this species of tarantula has been rumored to swim, so I have no worries. And I've seen videos of them swimming. I have no worries that this 
water dish is going to work fine for her. Um, so yeah, this is the H Gigas. Alright guys, so last but not least, we're going to rehouse this centipede, the Scolopendra de Honey. This is what I have been excited slash nervous for this entire time. They can climb, so I'm going to try and do this in the most sufficient way possible. They've also been known to climb tweezers. Um, so, and they are highly venomous. Okay, don't bite my tongs. I need you to go outside of the cup. Thank you. Wow. I would like to get the cup out of there. May I, please? Thank you. All right, guys. So, that is my first and only centipede. It's going to get a lot larger than this. This is a juvenile. Um, I'm super actually, su I'm super actually, I'm actually super excited about it. Um, we'll see how this goes. Uh, I need a really cool name for her though, so kind of something badass. Go ahead and leave name suggestions for this gal in the comments below, um, and hopefully she'll be in my next feeding video eating something crazy. So yeah, go ahead and leave name suggestions in the comments below. Alright, so that is that. Oh, <laughs> all right guys, so even though this is part two, I did film this all in one day along with part one. Uh, part three will be filmed tomorrow because that box is actually coming in a different day, but I couldn't let spiders sit in the box, obviously, until tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I actually, even though this is two videos for you, this has been an all day adventure for me. Uh, getting the packages, receiving them, going and picking them up at the FedEx facility, bringing them home, unpackaging everybody, making sure that everybody was safe and sound in their new enclosures. Um, yeah, so I am filming this ent era and ent and it's not an intro, it's an outro. I'm filming this outro um, prior to. <laughs> rehousing the Scolopendra Dihani, the Vietnamese centipede, if you're not familiar with scientific names. Um, so I, fingers crossed that that goes well, even though you guys would have already seen how that went. Um, so yeah, I'm really hoping that that goes well. And so I did say from at the beginning of the video that I was going to be giving you a little bit of a teaser for what's to come. Um, so yeah, I am going to obviously be doing part three of this series tomorrow. Um, this is a big coming back series, as I said in my first video. If you missed that, I'm going to link that down below. This is a coming back series. Um, I know that I've been really inconsistent with filming, and I'm really going to try my hardest to get better at that. I will 100% have one video out a week, if not two. I'm really going to try for two. But in order to be consistent, I at least need to shoot for one. Um, but I'm hoping for two. So, uh, with that being said, we have a lot to come up. Um, I have some videos pre-filmed that I worked on today and some videos that I'll be working on tomorrow as well. Um, and just videos I'll be working on throughout the week. Uh, my camera's probably going to start shaking again because my cat is rubbing on the tripod. Bella! Hey! Come here! Bella! Hey, Bella, can you stop rubbing on the tripod? Okay, she doesn't want me now, apparently. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be working on that. 
Um, I do have some breeding projects coming up soon. Hopefully, if it works out, I have a mature male avicularia avicularia and a mature female avicularia avicularia. And then I have two mature female Aphonopelma simanis and one mature female Aphonopelma calcodes. And I have one immature male Aphonopelma simani and one possibly penultimate male Aphonopelma calcodes. So that's three breeding projects that I 100% am going to be working on. Um, and I'm hoping to bring you guys along with me with that, obviously, with filming and things like that. I don't want you guys to miss that. Um, so stay tuned for that. That's probably going to come, obviously, in the near future. I need to wait for the two males to molt out and the avicularia avicularia. We'll see how that goes because I've never, ever, ever bred tarantulas before. And I have seen videos, but I've never, ever seen anybody do it in person. Um, so it's going to be a whole new experience for me. Um, now, with that being said, we do have some animals that you have not seen yet um, that I would like to make a debut video with um, where you guys can meet those animals. Um, that's going to be something that I think my fiance is going to be going through uh, because they're technically his animals, but now that we are living together, they're uh, an animal that was brought into my home and brought into my heart, obviously. Um, I'm a big animal person, so I'm really wanting to showcase those animals a little bit, show you those. Um, me and my fiance might be doing a couple more videos together. Let me know down in the comments if it's something that you'd like to see if we did more videos together where we're a little more interactive together um, as opposed to it just being me on camera. He is also my videographer currently and helping me on editing because he is a software engineer so if you notice any better editing that is because of him not because of me because I don't know anything so I do basic 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 editing um, but he did show me the benefits of a better camera, a better lighting system, a better software to edit. Um, so yeah, videos are going to be a little bit better, I'm hoping. Um, now, with that being said, I am probably going to turn this channel into a little bit more of the education side of things as opposed to just showing off what I have um, because I have obviously started this channel with showing off what I have, but there's only so many videos you can make of all my pets or um, showcasing my tarantulas or all my reptiles and I can't continue to do unboxing videos. Like I really need to buckle down and make some more educational videos. Um, so I'm hoping to target another audience versus people who already have tarantulas. Um, I'm hoping it's going to help people who already have tarantulas, but I'm also hoping to branch out and reach an audience that may not be into tarantulas, may not be into reptiles, and maybe awaken their mind into something that they never thought they could be a part of, even if they never own one, but to just know and be knowledgeable on these animals. I think that it's something that's very important in our society nowadays. Um, to be educated on the animals that we have in our life as pets and or animals outside in the wild. Just because these animals aren't native to my area doesn't mean they're not native to your area and knowing about them might help you out. Um, so yeah, I am really, really hoping to change this channel up a little. Um, so I also want to thank you for the 4,000 subscribers again in this video just because you guys have no idea how much that means to me. Um, but with that being said, I'm going to quit rambling now. Um, hopefully you guys will see video number three coming up on, this is going up Friday. You should see that on Sunday, uh, Sunday night or Monday morning. I haven't decided yet what day I want to post it. Um, I'm really hoping for Sunday night, but we'll see how editing goes. So anyway, I love you guys so much. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you never miss any part of the spider crew. Um, would love to see you guys back. Comment down below if you like these kind of videos, if you like these unboxing series, if you like me ranting at the end. I normally wait till the end so you can skip that if you don't want to see it. Um, but yeah, if you have already subscribed to my channel and you haven't hit the notification bell beside the subscribe button, 
please go ahead and do that because that ensures that you won't miss when I post part three. It should give you a notification as soon as part three goes up and any other video coming in the future, it should be giving you a notification every time I post a video so you never miss out on any of the madness here. I will see you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye.